Hello my friends, today we have another repair video. This time is probably recognizable to some of you. This is Google Chromecast. And what's happening, I think what's happening, this uh, uh, micro USB charging or actually power port is um, getting loose. It's sometime when you're watching movie and it's getting really, you know, some very important moment you want to see or something like very actiony this thing shuts down. So in order to prevent such a disappointment, I decided to actually fix it up. So in, for that, I need to take a, take a open, uh, take this guy, uh, guy opened and take a look what's really going on. But I think what's happening that this port is actually loose. So for that, we have to like, it looks like it's glued. Uh, so we have to like poke around in the perimeter over here and dislodge this top thing and see what's inside. Now let's get going. So I'll try to do this off camera to save you some poking time. Okay, and we successful after like poking around a about one minute, we are inside. So not much we're gonna see here, just a metal cam, few three screws, and that's it. And the micro, sorry, not micro. It's just a regular HDMI. My could be here, regular HDMI here. Let me get some torque screwdrivers. Uh, just to, you know, maybe I can I use it as an opportunity to look around to see what's inside. Okay, um, I got inside and here how it looks like. On both sides we have those cans and this can has a little bit of a thermal compound which radiates in this little tiny heat sink. Well, I guess better than nothing, right? So, in order to actually understand what's happening, uh, let's open up. Uh, those cans and see what's inside but before that I'm gonna take a look at this micro USB connector and what I see is actually rock solid I don't know what's really happening maybe there is some other issues related to uh, maybe it's thermal shutdown maybe there's something wrong with this HDMI cable yeah I still gonna run a little bit with solder here and clean up this connector maybe there is a uh, some kind of bad contact over here or something like that but from what I see this is pretty Pretty good. So yeah, well, let me investigate. Okay, let's try to open those cans and see what underneath. Those cans are so inviting and they are not soldered shut, so you would be just able to see what's going on there. Plus, probably it'd give me a little bit more clue to understand what's happening. All right. One is opened. Interesting. Let's see bottom. Mm hmm. Oh wow, that's cool. That's cool that you can disconnect. You can disconnect HDMI. That's pretty cool. And we have a bunch of big chips right here. Let me see what are they. Alrighty, so we have some news. So let's take a look what we have here. So let's try from the beast. So not to be it was not MediaTek. It's actually Marvel. So ATADE three zero zero six BTK two. It's Marvel. 1500 armada that's a beast of arm well beast of 2015 not now but apparently the same dude actually i think i saw it somewhere and i think it's in google home mini um, so take a look at my other reviews of this they try to reuse same silicon over here is um i was wrong this is not ram this is actually nand flash it's a toshiba 2 gigabyte non flash here it is tc 58 nvg 1 s 3h whatever that means so and there is some bunch of smaller jobbies over here some of them power regulators some of them i don't know what this this dude is uh, really hard to see on the other side we have this um, Marvel Avastar apparently which is wi-fi bluetooth nfc and other things but apparently it just uses uh, wi-fi uh, and here is uh, actually, if you look closely, um, is there that giveaway because there is one antenna, second antenna, and another one over here. Potentially, it actually does have a Bluetooth, now, maybe one of the pairings using Bluetooth, but definitely not NFC because there is no NFC antenna over here. And the last one, 
uh, is DDR3 memory, which is 4 gigab gigabit of DDR3 memory over here on this Samsung chip. It's DDR3L actually. So this is what we have, a little bit LED over here, USB socket, button, reset button, and Bob's your uncle, that's all we have. I'm gonna put it all together, try to kind of smear this sticky goop, and um, USB socket is actually sitting very, very well, so this is not a problem here. So, uh, well, maybe there was a useless sort of teardown, uh, because I don't see anything broken here. HDMI cable is fine, except this is some one problem I can't chewed up over here, but I don't think it's have any problem, like it caused any problems this video. So what I think is happening that the TV, potentially, TV cannot supply enough power for this guy, it just shuts down intermittently. Yeah, so this is the only my explanation. I'll try to run this thing off the like beefier power brick, like uh, like a little wall wired or something which actually can do 2 amps, 5 volt 2 amps and we'll see if that's gonna help. If it's gonna help I try to do something about my TV in order to actually, but I don't want this thing to constantly running, right? I want it to have to be powered only when TV is powered. If so, if we can achieve that, I have to think about better solution. Right, I think that's gonna be it. A uh, little kind of retro, I would say, to your down five years later or something like that. Google Home, sorry, Google Chromecast HD, I think this is the name of this dude, is for you. Tear down, but not really much of a repair, because nothing really to repair, but at least you know that all tech still can do. This thing can provide 1080p. Is it good for me? It is good for me. Works for me. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. So, um, so here is a little bit of update on this um, Google Chrome HD. Uh, I thought it's, there is no issue with the contact, but actually it turned out it after all it to be. So what I've done, I actually resolder with this very sharp soldering iron the pins because it's very very hard to reach to those pins so I will um, kind of reach them with this tiny soldering iron and reflow them as much as I could uh, adding some flux and uh, solder. Also I cleaned up the contacts with contact cleaner and now it's so much better. So yes, it was uh, the issue with the USB contacts over here, uh, but still uh, I did some little bit of research and run a, a power load test on my TV and turned out to be it can run only 500 milliamps and then it's not shut down but voltage drops to like 3.5 and keep keep dropping that's weird so I'm not sure about protection there the protect protection does not work it just keep dropping the voltage so I'm not sure what's gonna happen after all so I just stopped it so at 500 milliamp it was around 4.9 4.85 volts sort of like acceptable. So anyway so here we are this is operational so this clearly was uh, the culprit now everything is fine thank you guys for watching and thank you for sticking with me for this sort of longish video